G'day, it's Charlie. Uh, following on from my last video on how to install a SSL certificate on your cPanel web server, I'm going to show you how you set up your WordPress website to use that certificate. Now, this is a standalone video in that if you have SSL on your uh, server, your, your web server, no matter what you're using, you can use the process that I'm about to show you uh, on, on any Word, WordPress website. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it manually though. I'm not going to show you how to use a plugin to do it. Plugin might make it a little easier uh, in, in the short term. I don't think it does personally. Some people do and that's okay. Uh, but the reason I want to show you how to do it manually is you don't need a plugin to do it. Uh, and my general thoughts are is if you don't need a plugin to do something, you shouldn't be using one. Plugins add to uh, the load time because it's actually got to load the plugin before it runs the code. Uh, and it's an extra point of compromise if something goes wrong. So if you can do it manually, I think you should. And so I'm going to show you how to do it manually. In front of you on the screen is just a, a, a stock standard WordPress website. Nothing special about it. I really have just installed it. There's an, I don't think there's any plugins on this one at all. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in quickly and then we'll go through the next set of steps. Okay, so here we are. We're logged into WP Admin. It is a pretty stock standard site, um, website. There, there are no plugins installed. Nothing that, nothing that doesn't already come with a standard install. Uh, to set up SSL on your... Uh, your WordPress website, you need to go down to settings and go to general and you need to make two changes. Under WordPress address uh, URL instead of HTTP, put HTTPS. Under site address URL instead of HTTP, put HTTPS. And then scroll down to the bottom and click save changes. You are going to need access to the cPanel. Now you'll see this has actually um, logged me out because we're no longer, log, no longer logged in on the HTTP. Uh, it's automatically redirected us to HTTPS. You'll see that we've got our check mark, uh, sorry, our padlock up here in the top. If I click on that and look at certificate, it's it's picked up that the fact that we've installed the certificate. This is the same certificate we installed in the last video. Uh, and we're automatically protected using um, the SSL certificate. It really is that easy. Uh, so I'm just going to pause while I log in. And there we go. We're installed. Uh, again, we are protected using SSL. And if I just go to the home, you'll see everything has the HTTPS in front of it. So it really is that easy just to get your, your site protected by SSL to start with. Um, if I go to visit site at the front, there we go. This is just a standard uh, 2013, 2019 theme. I haven't done any customization on it, but you will see that you know in in our in our address bar we've got the HTTPS. We have the padlock. It is um, it, it is automatically protected using SSL. However, if I go here and I go to HTTP learnaboutdogs.com on the front end, you'll see that it does redirect me to the HTTP site. It doesn't pick up that we've got an SSL certificate. It's not redirecting us to the SSL certificate. What we do need to do is configure our site to automatically redirect us to that. To do that, you do need to log in to um, your cPanel or use FTP to edit your .ht access file. Let me do that through cPanel um, and I'll show you. Once, once you see what you need to do, you can do it through an FTP edit, uh, and use an editor to do it. Uh, so I've logged into uh, cPanel. What I want to do is go to File Manager, go to Public HTML, and go to our WP folder. And you'll see we don't have a .ht access um, file here, or it doesn't look like we have a .ht access file here. What I'm going to do is just go up to the settings uh, button here on the right-hand side. 
you'll see that I don't have hidden files shown. So I'm going to check on that and just make sure that there is no .ht access file. There is. It was hidden. That's good. So we have a .ht access file. So if you can't see it, do check that you don't have hidden files. Um, that, that, that hidden files that really aren't hidden. Uh, I'm going to click on the .ht access and I'm going to click edit. And uh, this is the standard WordPress uh, information that, that's added when you install in, uh, WordPress. It tells it tells WordPress what to do uh, and it also tells it how to handle uh, the permalinks. On line one, I'm going to add some code, a couple of lines of code. Now, uh, I will put these in the description for the video so that you can just copy it. Uh, but here, above where it says begin WordPress, we're going to paste in these lines of code. Um, I'll put a comment on that saying redirect to use SSL. And what this says basically uh, is it says that um, redirect anything from HTTP to HTTPS. I'm not going to try and explain it. Um, if you want to, if you want to break it down, by all means, go and Google it and work out what it says. I'm going to click on Save Changes. Now I'm going to head back to uh, my blog, the front bit where I've only got HTTP, and I'm going to reload that page. And you'll see now that it automatically reloads to HTTPS. So when, whenever anything hits the HTTP um, address, it automatically re redirects to HTTPS and brings up the secure version of the site. That's all you need to do to enable SSL on your website. Uh, you'll get it on the front end and you'll get the coverage on the back end as well on, on, on your um, WP admin dashboard. I hope that video has been helpful. It, it really is a couple of couple of minutes work and you will end up with uh, your WordPress uh, website nice and secure. Well, as secure as it can be with a SSL certificate. Have a good day, guys. Bye.